I love creme brulees. I like making creme brulees because I get to use fire. <laughs> but YouTube has a ton of creme brulee recipe videos and honestly, I have no chance of sticking out. So I did this instead. An all chocolate creme brulee. Chocolate crust and chocolate custard. This is a match made in heaven. Uh, unless you're a dog. Oh well, Fido's lost. First thing you gotta do, preheat the oven to 325 degrees. Were you once the richest country in all of South America, but then completely blew it because your government made poor decisions and plunged the country into abject poverty, but somehow blames the US for your problems? The number you're looking for is 160 degrees Celsius. Now, chocolate or not, a creme brulee is a custard. And any custard starts with these, egg yolks. I have here in this bowl six egg yolks. Uh, one of them got a bit of a head start and decided to beat itself. Yeah, this chick is a bit of a sadomasochist, go figure. And no, YouTube is not glitching out on you. The egg yolks are really that deep orange. So hopefully this will be some damn good creme brulee. So whisk until the egg yolks lighten up in color. Then let's slowly drizzle in half a cup of sugar. All right, once the eggs lighten up in color and reaches the ribbon stage, this is, for the record, this is what it's supposed to look like. Let's move on to the next step. All right, next grab yourself a two quart sauce pot and let's pour in three cups of heavy cream. Next up, the stove. All right, place your pot of cream over high heat. And this is important. Once it starts to break bubbles, kill the heat. If you don't, the cream will boil over and your stove is going to be looking like the aftermath of a hentai comic. Once you do that, add five ounces of dark chocolate. Stir it in good. Make sure you see no specks of unincorporated chocolate. Then sprinkle in a quarter teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract. Okay, now comes the tricky part. We got to add our hot creamy chocolate to our eggs. Now I can't just simply toss in our eggs into our chocolate because then we'll have chocolate flavored scrambled eggs. And I don't care how low your bar is, there is nothing delicious about that. So we gotta temper the eggs. Basically we slowly introduce the hot liquid to our eggs, raising the temperature gradually so as not to scramble them. All right, they roughly reached the same temperature now. Let's add our chocolate and egg mixture back to our pot. Make sure it's nice and mixed in. Okay, grab yourself a baking pan, throw in a tea towel. I'll explain the importance of this in a moment. Then let's pour our custard into our ceramicans. Just go, go up to the little line right here. And finally, before we put this in the oven, Let's pour in boiling water halfway up the ceramicans. And this is why I like using the towel. It doesn't, sp you can pour in the water nice and gently and you don't have to worry about it splashing everywhere. Okay, oh, and make sure the towel is nice and soaking wet because it's gonna go into the oven and I'm pretty sure burnt fabric doesn't complement the taste of chocolate. Place our pan in the middle of our 325 degree oven and let them cook for 50 minutes. All right, after 50 minutes, take them out of the oven. You can tell when they're done when they jiggle slightly. And once you get these things out of the oven, stick them in the refrigerator overnight. I'll give you a moment to wipe your tears. Okay, so once our creme brulee has cooled down, let's layer on some melted chocolate, even out with the backside of a spoon, and put this in the fridge to let it harden. And once the chocolate hardens, you can dig right in. Oh, and a fair warning, don't make the chocolate layer too thick, otherwise, otherwise, you're gonna need the strength of Hercules just to crack the thing open. On the plus side, you just burned off the calories you otherwise would have consumed from this, so there's that.
This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Uh, the tankies must be in my comment section turning this whole thing into a freaking war zone.